coming up right now is Larry Kudlow, CNBC senior contributor, host of The Larry Kudlow Show, right here on WMAL Saturdays at 7 p.m. Uh, well, we got to get you to chime in on this, Larry Kudlow. It's a story that has captivated a nation, the story of yes. uh, Rachel uh, Dolezal. Yeah, Dolezal, yeah, this uh, woman who identified just moments ago on NBC News. She gave this interview, and this is what she said. It's a little more complex than, than me identifying as, as black or answering a question of, are you black or white? Uh, it's more complex than just answering a question, are you black or are you white? Is it really that complex, Larry Kudlow? I, I, I love when you take a look at stories like this and sort of give us the bigger, larger picture <laughs> ramifications. Because I, I I think this story touches on culture, it touches society, politics, economics. Uh, this woman decided to be a black woman for her own purposes, and she was quite successful in doing it. What does that tell us about what it really means about race in America? Well, I am working through the stock market impact of this. <laughs> uh, I want to see if it affects earnings or real GDP growth or the <laughs> next jobs report. It's a hard sell, but I'm looking at it. <laughs> well, you you do more than financial commentary. <laughs> this is you do cultural commentary as well. Look, I um, today culturally nothing surprises me, hmm. and I guess there used to be a, a slogan. For the Marines, what was it? Be all you can be, or something. Right. You can be anything you want to be nowadays. I guess. I mean, I don't understand these things. I don't understand the motive. I don't understand the biology. But I'm an old guy. I guess I just well, stuff I don't get. If That's, you can be anything that you want to be, yeah, Larry, yeah. what do you want to be? You know, I just gosh want to be me. I don't know. <laughs> what is me? That does make you an outlier. It does. I mean. I don't know. God's grace, I'll be sober 20 years in the next week or two. That's good. That's kind of what my focus is right now. I, I, right. I, don't, I can't pretend to understand what she's doing, okay? I just, I mean, I don't get it. Um, it, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't make me angry or sad. It just in, increases my increasing disbelief about some of the things happening in our culture. I yeah. guess that's what I would say to you. But I'm tolerant. I mean, uh, truly, I'm a tolerant person. And Therefore, I don't know that I have an opinion on this. I, I, I at first blush, thought it was silly, crazy, but um, I don't get it, and I'm just going to be tolerant of it. Well, you talk, I can do about it. Talk about people being everything they can be and being whatever they want to be. It, it appears that Donald Trump could very well want to be president, yeah. and uh, he might actually... I mean, what's your take on it? Do you think he's going to run? He's ready to make an announcement of some kind today. Yeah, um, I gather, and on this one... Uh, I think what Donald's going to do is leave the door open, but I don't think he's going to make a clear, unambiguous announcement. I just don't. I mean, I'm, I've not talked to him. I do know him. I respect him as a businessman. Um, not sure yet he has my respect as a political leader. I don't know what he stands for, and I know what he's against. Uh, he's a very protectionist, anti-immigration, um, hates China has very glib criticisms of many things he doesn't like. He won't tell you what he's going to do. He'll just tell you how others have, have screwed it up. My sense is he's going to leave the door open. Um, there's a lot of people here in New York who don't think Donald will ever release the kind of financial forms and statements that well, are required. We keep hearing that we're going to get something today that will reveal how much he's worth. Yeah, he, he would give his net worth, whether there'll be enough detail in that. Um, remains to be seen. That's always been an obstacle. So, yeah, I think there'll be ballpark numbers, um, but I can't tell. I just, I don't have much of a sense of this. I don't. I can't really help you on this. He's a mystery to me, <laughs> politically. Right. He's a, a great mystery. Well, what about uh, Jeb Bush, who entered the race right. yesterday? Certainly not a mystery. He's been in the public uh, eye, really, for decades now. Uh, what do you make of the? I mean, I, I personally think that we as a country should be able to do better than Bush versus Clinton again. I have con I would have concerns about any country who have the s members of the same family as their political leader uh, three times over the course of three decades. Uh, am well, I am I am I misguided in that? No, I, I get that. Um, you know, that's up to the voters, and I can't quite figure out how big an issue that is or isn't. I, I watched um, I watched Jeb's thing. I, I came home last night and. Watched it, the whole thing on YouTube. I thought it was a rather good speech on the whole. thought it was pretty good. Um, in my area on the economy, I really like his 4% growth target. He said this before, but 
Um, this would be, the, I think, the second time, maybe more. But I like that a lot. I wish the whole Republican Party would adopt a uh, 4% growth target. He wants a simpler, uh, flatter, lower tax rate system. I like that a lot. Uh, he wants to roll back regs on the EPA and IRS. I like that a lot. He spoke for energy independence. I like that a lot. Um, he did not, however, interestingly, he did not speak about the trade deal. Never mentioned it, as far as mm -hmm. I can tell. And I think he needs to take a position on that. And um, he didn't mention the currency. The only reason I say most candidates don't mention the dollar when they have a speech like this. But a week or two back, he did tell a New Hampshire radio interviewer who asked him about currency manipulation, meaning the Chinese yuan, that, well, wait a minute, he said, we've manipulated our currency with all the crazy money printing, money printing the Fed has made in recent years. And I thought that was a terrific statement, and I tweeted it. I said, sounds like Jeb Bush coming out for a hard dollar, and that's good. And he tweeted me back and said, thank you, Larry. And I, I was just hoping he'd say something in the package yesterday, but he didn't mention it. Um, on the whole, I think it was a pretty decent speech. All right, so game. no question he's in the game. Look, we're not going to know. Your questions are good questions about you know another mm -hmm. fight between Clintons and Bushes. We're just not going to know for quite some time, are we? I mean, isn't that the way it's going to play out? Yeah, I think I, you you may be right, uh, but I have a question about Hillary, and we got one minute, exactly one minute left. She's not releasing yet her medical records. Mm -hmm. Is that fair game for reporters to insist that yes. she do that? Yes, absolutely. Why? Absolutely. Yes. Look, they all do. And um, if you read Ed Klein's book, um, he, he feels she had a stroke. He writes that, and that she's in much, much worse shape, shape physically. So she's got to release those records, no question about it. But that's you know, incumbent on all of them, is it not? Financial statements, health records. In her case, um, it'll be, be very interesting, but she's got to. All right, we're going to have to leave it right there. Larry Kudlow, thank you so much. Thanks for having and me. And we're glad that you identify as you, Larry. Yeah, we want keep you to keep, that, keep on being you. Be all that you can be. <laughs>